Today we're going to do the uh, Azaka. So let's see how this one goes. Well, let's fill to the top, isn't it? Ooh. Has a very tropical smell to it. So I'm not really doing a review on color or anything like that. Let's go ahead and do a smell. Ooh, it's very... Um, almost like pineapple-y, like super tropical. And I wish I had a better descriptors. But really tropical. Um, one thing about the smell that I can tell you right now is that it's a unique smell. Um, I don't, I can't say that I've ever smelt anything exactly like it. Yeah, just like, like a papaya or something like that, like an overly ripe, like, not so much mango, but like a, like a darker, richer fruit. Yeah, smells good. And one thing that I, I found in my, as I continue to do these beer reviews, that I found when I do IPAs is that some hops fade faster than others. I don't think, and this is just my opinion, I don't think all hops are created equal as far as um, stain power, as far as their aromas. So I think as we're doing some of these beers, some of them I think, uh, maybe mine included the uh, Equinox, the aroma has faded out faster. I know like when I do like a Centennial hopped beer, like the one or two times I've done like Cascade, Centennial, those two, or especially Centennial, seems to really stay around for a long time. Really, really digging the smell on this. Um, I could see this pairing really well with like a, um, like a Citra even to like, um, it's kind of like, like a darker, dankier fruit smell, like overly ripe fruit. Go ahead and give it a taste. nice. Follows the nose pretty good. Um, yeah, it's definitely a tropical thing. Um, I can see this being a hop that is unique. Hop. And it's definitely like the tropical, kind of like where the style of hop is going for like the fruity tropical thing. I wish I, gosh, I, so, I suck so bad at root beer reviews. I definitely like Azaka though. Um, this is the third beer I've tried. So far this is my favorite one. Um, even, at, Equinox is pretty good. Um, my wife's calling for me, and I can't edit videos because my computer's trashed. So, it's going in. But, uh, yeah. Um, great hop. I would suggest definitely using this. I'm doing a review, babe. Okay, it's okay. I can't edit, so you're going to be in it. Very good. Really enjoying it. Another well-brewed beer, too, by the way. Like... Um, I don't know if brew tubers are just, like, I don't know if because you are so into brewing that you do an excellent job or what it is, but every beer, this is my third beer that I've tried, but, um, every beer has been extremely well brewed. Um, you know, like I go to home brew club meetings and there's a lot of beginners there too. Um, but there's some not so good beers at home brew club meetings, like legitimate shit beers, like, that are like... <laughs> crappy but uh all these beers have been top notch um i wouldn't say any of them have a homebrew twang or anything out of the three i've tried yeah great beer 
So I do a quick little video of what I've been doing brewing wise. So I don't do like a homebrew Wednesday, but I bring in here to my barrel. I don't know. Some of you guys know I've had this sour sour barrel going. So um, it's been over a year, as you can see, is when I brewed it on 426 of 14. So I pulled. Um, we got cherries, and we have apricots, and then we have another sour beer that um, I did. So I basically had a, uh, I had a beer here that was like two years old that was ultra sour, like teeth grindingly sour, over the top. So basically what I did was I kegged, I split this into... I put a third into here, a third into here, and a third into a keg, and then I racked from the barrel the rest, the other two thirds into here, and then a two thirds into the uh, into the keg. So, um, yeah. So the keg is actually still sitting out. I don't have room for it in the uh, in the kegerator, and I also racked a Flanders Red, which is oh, shit. I don't have a glass, but my my Equinox beer keg kicked and then I put a Flanders Red on tap. But yeah. So so that's what's been going on. It took quite a while actually like um, on this beer um, I left the uh, the cake on. I pitched basically a fresh beer onto the cake and I also I let that sit for like two or three days and then I pitched like a Belgian yeast strain into there and then it got really it fermented out pretty well that was about two weeks ago and it took about two weeks for this to get going um, it really just didn't do anything I put 15 gallons plus into there um, and it just kinda sat around didn't do shit so um, about like three days ago it uh, is, as you can see it finally started to ferment so yeah it just it stalled really hard I don't know I, I don't think it's a big deal but yeah it just didn't start to re-ferment for a long time but yeah that's about all I have going on brewing wise um, I'm gonna be doing a pill my pilsner is the next one so uh, I've got to uh, brew a pilsner and I might do five gallon pilsner and then five gallons as a do something else with it maybe I'll do ten gallons of a pilsner I don't know so anyways guys, uh, kind of a long video for a hop review, but kind of like a homebrew Wednesday type thing. Um, awesome beer, Azaka. I'm a fan. Really mellow too. I mean, it's, bitterness is nice. Really mellow drinking, not overly, overly hopped or anything like that. Well, well, well made beer. All right guys, later.